Keep away from the fence at all times. Once again, race fans, step away from the fence. Let's talk about what we got going on here. Jeff, can you believe this? What is, what is this thing? You got a CB in there. Are you talking to the truckers? All right, he's talking to the truckers. This is number eight, Michael Geiger out of Rockford in a Dodge Caravan. And outside of him, and the thing is probably making payments still, that is truck number 11 of, I'm going to try to say it right, David Sadlow, I hope that's right, River Grove, Illinois, in a Ford Explorer. You still got payments, don't you? Tell me you do. You don't have payments. Do you have payments? You don't. They don't have payments, so let's see what happens. Hold on. I have to wait. You guys are ready to turn them loose. You guys got your cameras on? Who's recording this crazy madness? That's right. All right. All right, guys. Don't watch me. Ooh, watch the starter. There you go. Off they go, the Dodge Caravan with a good start. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. How is this car the caravan's winning. Well, here comes the Explorer on the inside. They're both paid off. Hard inside. Will it work? Let's see what's going to happen. Line's here. Oh, baby, it's going to be the Explorer. No. David, David, tell everybody quick. How does it taste? You went to the Puerto Rican. it? How does it taste? Well, I've never had Puerto Rican rice before, and that's really good. The pork is awesome. Make sure you step out and see a way pop. Yeah, definitely. Good call. All right, next up here. What in the world? What kind of car do you even have? Okay, it's a Honda. I see. It's a Honda. Car 54, where are you, of RJ Tots. I've seen this guy here before. I've seen this name before. In a Honda Accord, and this is my guy. He's even driving the exact same number Car 937 of Jeff Law in a Lincoln LS out of Rockford. I hope you guys don't wreck him, or do you guys want to see him wreck? They want to see you wreck. All right, here we go. Watch the starter. Here we go. I think the Lincoln still got damaged from last year. And it's Jeff Law trying to get ahead of it. He ain't scared. Let's see what the Honda's got. Uh-oh. It could be over for the Honda. No, it's not. He's going to try what the Explorer did. Is it going to work? Oh, no, it's not. Wow, that Lincoln. You know, I think they say experience pays to win races, and the Lincoln's got experience. So Jeff Law is going on to round two. Okay. You got car payments, don't you? You got car payments, huh? Yeah, you do. I thought so. I thought so. So 71 who's got car payments. That is driven by, looks like, here we go, Michael Gagliano in a Honda Civic. Is that right? Yeah, I thought so. Out of Rockford, Illinois. Next to him in this 44, I think it's a Mazda Miata, driven by Alex Hansen out of Rockford, Illinois. Who's got the Miata? Who's got the car that's still making car payments? Let's find out what's going to happen. Watch the starter. Man, that car did a smoky burnout. Remember, he's got payments. He may take it easy. Oh, slow and steady in the turns. It's a little harder than what I thought. Okay. The Mazda Miata is going for it all. Listen to those tires squeal. He's got no trouble getting the win. Here goes the car with payment. 44, Alex Hansen going on to round two. Next up, oh, I know these cars are paid off. One don't even have, wait a minute. This car's for sale. We got one for sale. <laughs> are you kidding me? Hey, hey, is your car for sale, right? Yeah, it's for sale. He's saying, yeah. All right. So in the 20 car, I've got Mason Graham and a Pontiac Grand Prix out of Rockford, Illinois. Next to Mason in the number 53, it's a 2001 Buick. 
that's driven by James Dahlman out of South Beloit. Who wants the car that's for sale to win? Who wants the Pontiac to win? All right, let's find out. Watch the starter. Boy, that would be something. I wonder if the price would come down if he has a little damage. And they almost hit. Holy cow. Woo. It's a hot buy. No AC. Here he comes. He's going to get the win. It's James Dolman. <laughs> that car is still for sale. No damage, so probably the same price. Oh, here we go. Ooh, this is... This is uh, truck time and these trucks look like they pull race cars they really do we got Chevy versus GMC in the 703 truck on the inside that is Devin Roberts out of Rockford Illinois in that Chevy Silverado it's got the back rack on there lights you got a whole bunch going on with the American flag and next to him in the newer truck that sounds like a V6, no, that, that's a V6. That's a 31M by, by Chad Mosshund out of Loves Park, who's got the V8, who's got the V6. Watch the starter. And the V6 does a smoky burnout. Let's see what happens. It's the GM Sierra. Are you kidding me? This V6 is going to outpull the V8? Well, maybe the V6 has less miles. Oh, here he comes. Look out, look out. There's your winner. He's got one light still. But the flags are awesome. So Chad... Mouse Hun's going on to the next round. Now we got smaller truck race. This truck has a winding sound. And he doesn't know what lane he wants to be in. There he goes, now he thinks he's here, maybe. Maybe what's going on, he doesn't know. I don't know either, you tell me. He picked first. So in the 21, this is Dustin Cole in a Mercury Mountaineer out of Monroe Center, Illinois. On the inside, that is the five truck of Drake Hartzell in a Chevy Colorado out of Genoa, who's got the Mercury, who's got the Chevy, who doesn't care? All right, watch the starter. Whoa, the Mercury said, I'm gonna take you. Oh, they might hit. Oh, it's getting close. He hit him. I thought so, and it worked. <laughs> Here comes the Mercury hard inside. Whoa, he's gonna hit the wall. Here comes the Chevy. <laughs> Great driving by the 21. Oh, Nelly, I don't think it's gonna work. This guy, get a load of this guy. He's still going. He's still going. It ain't over yet. What's going on? What is he doing? He's a sore loser. <laughs> and now the ambulance is driving down. <laughs> oh, he's almost a smokier burnout car. Almost. I almost I almost had hope for him. All right. So in the almost smoky burnout car, the three. This is John Brown out of Monroe Center. Honk your horn if it's you. There you go, all right. In the 18 car, that's a, let's see where he's at. I'll find out where he's at. Where are you at? 18, 18, there you go. Trey Wright driving a Chevy Cavalier out of Winnebago. Honk the horn, you got a bigger horn than him? No, he doesn't. All right, battle of the small cars. Who's got this one? Who's got the red one? Let's see what happens. Ooh, watch the starter! Hey, me! You better watch him! You know, they tell us in school to, to follow directions. <laughs> Ooh.
We should interview him, right? <laughs> All right, here. I, I, I'll, I'll tell him. I'll make sure he understands. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Hey, 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 listen. Not me. That guy. Watch that. All right. Yeah, he says, I got you now. I, I was confused. I'm ready to beat this red car. All right, let's try it again. Ooh, watch the starter. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? He had two chances. And he went in reverse. He doesn't stand a chance now, poor guy. Here he comes. Wow, all right. All right. Reverse never works in these races. Never does, no. No, that has to be a first I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, here we go. All right, all right. I, I gotta ask these guys a question. Okay, hang on, hang on. Bring them up there, I gotta ask them something. Hang on, okay, okay. Okay, all right, I, I gotta ask. Okay, um, um, is your car paid off? It's paid off. All right, okay, it's paid off, it's paid off. All right, all right, let me, I gotta ask this or two now. Hang on. Is your car paid off? It's paid off. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I just had to ask. All right, so right now in the 48 car, I've got Dan Harold, right here in a 2017 Cadillac. Man, that's a new, that's a new car. Inside of him in his 12 car with, with the Bigfoot Giant tires on it, that is Evan Aronson in a Yukon out of Roscoe. Who's got the Yukon? Who thinks the Cadillac's going to blow his doors off him? The odds are stacked against you. <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, watch the starter. If we only had sand and hills, then I think the GMC may have stood a chance. Let's see what happens, though. You never know. He could spin out. They're both paid for. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. It's Cadillac all day long. You guys were right. You guys got it right, all right. There he comes. I like the lights on that GMC Yukon though. Those look good. Oh, this is a mean truck. And this is a mean car. These drivers don't care. That's what that tells me. They, they do not care. If we're gonna see some wrecking, it's gonna be this race. So I got an L18 truck of Brendan Lightheart out of Rockford, Illinois on the inside. Let's hear that horn. You got a loud horn? What? There you go, yeah. And the driver, in, oh my, listen to this Ford Taurus. Driving the AK-47 of David Prince out of Rockford. Who's got the Chevy? Who's got the Ford? Who wants to see him wreck? They want to see you wreck. What are you going to do? Ooh, watch the starter. Oh, they hit. Oh, they're hitting. They didn't just, oh, he spun them out. Oh, baby, look out. It's going in reverse. The Ford's in reverse. He's waiting for them. These two don't like each other. Oh! Oh, Bajo, what just happened in the back of that truck? Who's gonna win? Oh, look at the tire on the Ford! He, look at the... He, the Ford wins with a flat tire and a complete bent-in tire. How about that? Did you like that Rockford Speedway? Oh my God. <laughs> Only on the 4th of July are we going to see something like that. If I was that Cadillac, I'd open. He's not racing that Ford. <laughs> and that is David Sadlow, Sadlow in a Ford Explorer, River Grove, Illinois. Isn't that like by Chicago? Yeah, you're like by Chicago. So it would be really bad if you wrecked it, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. 
in the 73 truck, this would be, it looks like it says, Bessel Hensley. Does that sound right? No, I didn't think. I'm going to come over there. I can't read this writing. Hang on. we got to get the name right. it, it got to be, what is it? Riesel Hensley. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. They have a B in there. I guess they just didn't understand, so i got to fix that. So Bessel Hensley in a 99 Chevy 2500 out of Roscoe. Who's got the Ford? Who's got the Chevy or GMC? All right, let's find out. This guy's got a tool case in the back. I don't know if it's going to help. Here we go. Ooh, watch the starter. And he's got a lot of tools in the back. And that must be the newer vehicle. I think so. That Ford is leaving the GMC in dust. I hear the horsepower. I hear nothing out of this Ford Explorer, though. Nothing at all. Look, oh, there he goes. I can hear him now. There he goes. All right, and here he comes. Well, that was almost exciting. Almost. All right. So this next race here, this is the guy that I've seen many times here, and he don't care. And then this guy here is really fast. So I think it's gonna depend on who gets off the line first who's gonna win this. So I got the 44 in the Miata, that's Alex Hansen in a Mazda Miata out of Rockford. Honk that horn. Oh, listen to that cute little horn. Oh, ain't she cute. Car 937's Jeff Law in this Lincoln LS. Who's got the Lincoln? Who's got the, the Mazda? Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's a starter. And I think getting a good jump in this race might be the key to winning. Could be. The Miata's giving it all he can in that little four-cylinder car, but the Lincoln's got six cylinders. The Lincoln could be going too fast. Here comes the Miata to try to sneak on the inside. Here we go. Who's got horsepower? Oh, six cylinders beats four all day long. At least it was close. <laughs> oh, here's that car for sale. No AC, no radio. Tires, okay. So this car is set up for an original sixer. We run these here next Saturday night, you'll see these. So in the 31M truck, I've got Chad Moosend in a GMC Sierra out of Loves Park, and in the car for sale driving 53, it's James Dahlman in a Buick. Who's got the Buick? Who's got the GMC? Who doesn't care? They don't care, show us something. Ooh, watch the starter. And it's the car for sale. Those tires smell good. <laughs> that's, the, that's the smell of Rockford Speedway. Burnt tires. I love that smell. And it's going to be the car for sale coming around. There you go. Hey, this is a good car to run the Sixers. I think you can sell it. You could buy this car tonight, and all you got to do is take the windows out, and you could be racing next Saturday. That's it. Just take the windows out. Okay, now I remember this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah, you raced against a car that went in reverse. Yeah, he just forgot. I don't know what happened, right? You even gave him two chances. What if he goes in reverse? Now I'm going to think something's up. Okay, I don't think he's going in reverse. So on the inside, we got the five truck of Drake Hartzell and a Chevy Colorado out of Genoa. Honk that horn, Drake. Yeah. All right, in the three, I got, I got John Brown and the Chevy Cobalt out of Monroe Center. Who's got the Cobalt? Who's got the truck? Let's find out. Ooh, watch the starter. Oh. He's even on a donut. He's on a donut. Are you kidding me? Maybe it works. <laughs> John Brown is off to the races. He might be going too fast. And he's drifting up high. Oh, here we go. Woo! 
And the truck just about hit him. That was close. Now we knew this was coming. The new cars. Both are paid off. So we are getting into like the quarterfinal rounds now, okay? It's the quarterfinals, all right? So let's do it. What, what's that now? Okay, are you a cop? Maybe. You, you're spot. Okay, you support. Okay, good. We got the police over here in the Explorer. All right. So in the number 11 truck, I've got David Sadlow out of River Grove, Illinois. That's the Chicago guy. And in the 48 in the Cadillac, once again, that is Dan Harold out of Loves Park. Who's got the caddy? Who's got the Ford? Let's find out who's got the loudest horn. Here we go. What's No, not me. They should have figured that out the first time. Come back. Yeah. Come back here. Yeah. You No head starts. No, nothing like that. No. It's one-on-one. It's -on -one. I thought they told him that when he signed up. Maybe not. All right. Doggone it, both those cars that wrecked real bad, neither of them are out here. I want to see that Ford Taurus come back. <laughs> He's only got two wheels, though. <laughs> Maybe we'll see him out here for our night of thrills. Okay, remember, watch the fight, man, not me. All right. Yeah, watch him. Yeah, there you go. All right. Here we go. Let's try it again. Ooh, watch the... Oh, and the Cadillac caught him sleeping. He was sleeping. <laughs> that or coffee. <laughs> and the Cadillac is making mincemeat of the Ford Explorer. The Cadillac is going to win. All right. Well, at least he can go back near Chicago with no damage on the car. Oh, here we go. Okay. So this race here is the story of two guys who don't care. Again. So if you want to get this car at a cheaper price, we need to see some dents in it. So once again in that 53, that's James Dahlman in a Buick out of South Beloit. With no AC, no radio, tires are okay. Tires are pretty good on that car. In the 937, this is Jeff Law on a Lincoln. Who's got the Lincoln? Who's got the Buick? Let's find out what's going to happen. Ooh, watch the starter. And we got a race. Is somebody going to take a shot at the other driver? Oh, here comes the Lincoln. He might push him. Ooh, he's close. They might be going too fast. Oh, they might be going too fast. Hang on to it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who won that. I was right here. We got to do it again. Who wants to see him do it again? Bring him back over here. Get on over here. Wait, wait, wait. Jeff, are we going in reverse this time? We're going that way. We're going that way. <laughs> yes, sir. That was a photo finish. All right. Same story. You versus him. Somebody's going on, somebody's going home. Go on the flag. Who's got the Buick? Who's got the Lincoln? Let's find out. Ooh, watch the starter. And it's a rematch. It's always different going the other way. All right. Oh, the car for sale is pulling away, maybe. Here we go. Who do you got? Who do you got? Oh, it's the Buick. Rockford Speedway, what do you think about that race? All right. All right. 
semifinals. Somebody's racing that car, whoever wins. The grand prize is racing the Buick. <laughs> Who's got the Cadillac? Yes, Dan Harold. Who's got this car with a donut on it? The three car of John Brown. How you doing it with a donut, dude? How you doing it? Right, here we go. Somebody's going to the championship. Ooh, watch the starter. Remember, race fans, if you could stay back from the fence, that would be greatly appreciated. Just back away from the fence. Oh, come on now. This streetcar made it so far. On the donut. Oh, he's going hard. He's going to hit the caddy. He could hit the caddy. Woo! That was close. <laughs> that Cadillac, I was watching him come out of turn four. He was all up in his rear view mirror just watching that car. <laughs> Oh, and he looked like he tried to get him again. All right. You've seen caravans. You've seen ugly pickup trucks. You've seen Miatas. You've seen donuts. You've seen destruction. Now you're going to see a championship. Somebody's going to go home. This is how this works. It's the best two out of three. So for round one, I've got the 48, the Cadillac. That's Dan Harold. And next to him is that car for sale. This is the 53 car. Oh, have I lost my spot? James Dolman, who's got the Buick? Who's got the Caddy? All right, let's find out. We're going two out of three. Watch the starter. And the Buick's giving him everything he got. And that Cadillac hard on the inside. Oh, this is going to be close. Are they going to hit? Are they going to hit? Oh, here we go. Here we go. You got to be kidding me. Did you see that? Rockford Speedway, we just witnessed a Buick beating a Cadillac. So this is two out of three. We're going that time. They're going to switch sides to make sure nobody has an advantage. Oh, wait a minute. We might have a wreck here right now. There we go. All right. He turned his lights on. Better Safety. Safety first. That's right. All right. Caddy. All right. So our 48 car. Dan, this is your race. This is all you. We got to go to three. Or is the Buick going to stop him? Who's got the Buick going this way? Who's got the caddy? Who wants to see him hit the wall? All right. Watch the starter. Oh, the Cadillac's playing dirty. Here we go. It didn't work. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who's going to win this race? It's the Buick. I can't believe that just happened. Race fans, remember to please back away from the fence. Everybody back away from the fence. We, we got to interview this guy. Jeff, do I have a minute to interview? Oh, great. Oh, I'm so interviewing you. Come on out. <laughs> you got a fan club and everything. Come here and tell us about this car. First of all, <laughs> congratulations, sir. What's your name? James Norman. All right, James, did you race this car last year? Yeah, last September. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> the Carvette. Okay, I, that's right, yeah. Um, this car's for sale. How much are you asking for it? Not for sale, no. Okay. It's not for sale. I had people say they wanted to race it in the Sixers division. Can't do it. All right. Do right, you want to say hi to anybody? Say hi. I'll help my uh, my wife and daughter up there. All 
All right. Great job tonight. Congratulations. Get your famous trophy. It's limited edition. Hold that thing up high. Let the fans see it.